You may not realize it, but wherever you are, you are surrounded by products that begin life at petrochemical facilities just like this one. I'm Chet Thompson, CEO of the American Fuel and Petrochemical Manufacturers. I've arranged a behind the scenes tour for you to see what we do here. To get started, meet Crystal. Hi guys, my name's Crystal. I am an instrumentation technician here in the petrochemical industry. Today you are about to learn something super cool. I'm gonna take you inside of our petrochemical facility. Come on in and let me take you for a look. Petrochemicals are the building blocks of all the products that make modern life possible. If you can imagine it, you can bet petrochemicals are a part of it. Your safety is critically important to us, so before you go inside, you'll need to get some gear. This is fire retardant clothing. This is what you wear out in the field to protect your body. Next, we have hearing protection, earplugs to protect your ears. We have safety glasses that protect your eyes. And then finally, let's protect that hard head of yours with a hard hat. Now you're all dressed up and ready to go out in the field in a safe manner. Hey, I'm Steve. Uh, we're at one of our polyethylene reactors. Uh, if you want, come on up and I'll show you around a little bit. Hey, these polyethylene reactors, they're big loop reactors. So inside these reactors, you've got a pump that's circulating, going way up and way over and way down. What it is, we've got a liquid in there, and we put ethylene gas in there, and we also include a catalyst that goes with it, and it mixes together and makes long chains called polyethylene. All right, now, now I'm on the top deck of the structure. As you can see, we got a lot of equipment that we have to operate and a lot of equipment we have to maintain. Uh, one of the strengths that we have here on this side is the stop work authority. So what stop work authority means is that anybody Anybody that has a question or an issue about what we're doing, any kind of process or maintenance or anything like that, has the authority to stop the work. The chemical process Steve just described results in a fine plastic powder, which is transferred into a large machine called an extruder. There it is melted, compressed, and squeezed into spaghetti-like strands. As the strands come through the extruder, they are sliced into small pellets. These pellets are the origin of almost every innovation, like cutting edge medical equipment and everyday items like cell phones and milk jugs. Here we have uh, three labs where we do a variety of testing from product development to QA, QC, and fabrication work. Here we're actually making an end use part. In this case, we're actually making the, the gallon milk jug. So this is actually what happens out in the field at dairies. Uh, but in much larger scale. Uh, basically, the things that we're looking for in this process is we're looking for certain defects that would tell us that maybe we had some contaminants within the material during this process. Right. Stuff that we're looking for unity. If it was a heavy buildup on one side, um, you would obviously have more polymer built up on this side, less on this side. All this ends up being stripped off and used as recycled. Uh, so there's, n there's nothing going to waste. Thanks for tagging along on this tour with me today, guys. We all enjoyed showing you exactly what the petrochemical industry has to offer. If you have any more questions, please visit AFPM.org to learn more about petrochemicals and the people who make them possible.